The so-called Schmidt trigger is one of the most important circuits in electronics. And when you are a little bit acquainted with electronics, you will know that for sure. Here there is a demo circuit that I made. Uh, it's made to switch a blue LED. That blue LED is here, here. On and off, say, when it gets dark. And perhaps you know, say, the cheap uh, Chinese uh, home garden lamps. And uh, in those cases, sometimes there's not a Schmidt uh, trigger used, but a kind of comparator circuit. Uh, I will tell more about it. Here the schematic, by the way, here. In fact, it's very, very easy. Pin connections of the transistors. The BC547B emitter base collector. And here the BD129, the front. And here is that circuit. Uh, the Schmidt trigger has the very good property that it switches completely on or completely off when on a certain moment the voltage is somewhat too high or somewhat too low and uh, of course you can think well that can, uh, a comparator circuit with an op amp can also do that the problem is however that such an op amp Say this is the comparator circuit for an op amp. Um, here we set say uh, the voltage that is changing, and here for instance the reference voltage. Reference voltage can be made with a voltage divider. Put down the camera for a while, one moment. It's a little bit sloppy because I only have 15 minutes, but anyway, uh, say this is the op amp here, and on that pin, say pin 2, we have that reference voltage. And when, uh, say, we have your 12 volt, that means that when we have here 1k and also here 1k, the voltage here is 6 volts. That's logical. And could be, say, uh, that you have to uh, move this to this pin, but anyway, in general, it doesn't differ so much. Uh, when the voltage here uh, goes higher or lower than that reference voltage, the op amp switches. Comparator circuit. It's also on my YouTube channel. Uh, this is positive, by the way, and this is negative. Um, and there is, you can use a hysteresis resistor, but um, I don't want to focus on that op-amp circuit, that comparator circuit, but on the Schmidt trigger circuit. And this is the Schmidt trigger circuit, in a way, kind of principle. You can compare it to a seesaw here. Here, I have only one hand, so anyway. And here we have a marble. And when that marble, say when the when the voltage moves, the marble marble that is the switch voltage rolls. And on a certain moment, there's an absolute sure moment when that marble rolls to the other side, and that means that the electronic circuit switches. And that is what ha what is happening here. And in uh, say cheap uh, lamps, garden lamps, etc., etc., you sometimes see that the lamp, uh, say when the sun goes down, flickers for a certain time, say quarter of an hour, half an hour. But with this Schmidt trigger, that does not happen. 
that's the most important property of this circuit. So, uh, well, the schematic again, I've tested it out. It works between 4 volts or 6 volts and 13 volts. You can set the sensitivity here with that 470k potentiometer. Of course, when you want to make it in real and everything is aligned well. Uh, Take that 470k resistor out and replace it by a fixed value resistor. That's the best idea because on the longer term, say you can get corrosion in such a um, potentiometer, etc. etc. And then it doesn't switch any longer in a very precise way. So let me demonstrate how it switches. We are now on 11 volts. I will slowly dim the light and see, let's see when that blue light, blue light, blue LED starts to light up. So now uh, here is the LDR, light dependent resistor. And now say, uh, it starts to get evening, the light dims and dims and on a certain moment that LED starts to burn. And uh, now again, when in the morning the sun starts to shine and then that the sun starts to shine, now it's still dark, sun starts to shine and on this moment the LED switches off. Could also be say a bunch of LEDs by the way, but you have to take in account that in that case uh, this resistor must have a, high, uh, sorry, a lower value and also this resistor because they supply that blue LED. You could also use another color of LED, no problem with that. And I hope to publish in the future, when I have time and inspiration, uh, a circuit where this unit uh, switches a relay, a 12 volt relay. I was already busy with that. Here's a 12 volt relay. Uh, I have to say, find out to make it working and then especially say change resistors here etc etc uh, will take some time to develop it anyway again here the circuit it's a very uh, successful circuit you can use it for all kinds of purposes it's also in one of my books and here is that circuit out of my book here it's somewhat other approach, by the way. Uh, here we set the bias of the Schmidt trigger. And here we can also set the bias of the Schmidt trigger. In fact, the circuit is the same as this circuit in, say, electronics terms. Uh, instead of that 1K resistor here and that LDR, there is another transistor. And when the voltage here, the positive voltage gets too high, the uh, Schmidt trigger switches. And again, on a very, very precise moment. In terms of one hundredths, perhaps even one thousandth of a volt. So, anyway, same thing here. Thanks for watching, by the way. Uh, let's try it on a smaller voltage. Let's go, go to 6 volt. 
perhaps how will it act on 6 volt this circuit? That's interesting. Anyway, let's try. Slowly bring down the amount of light. It gets slowly dark. And the blue LED starts to light up. So, I think it's a useful circuit. Now it gets eve, uh, sorry, it gets morning again. Anyway, uh, I have already demonstrated that. And here you can set the sensitivity. Perhaps that's interesting to tell. Thanks for watching. When I have time and inspiration, I will make a circuit where a relay switches. Uh, when it gets dark or when it gets uh, uh, in the morning, when there's more light on the LDR, light dependent resistor, these are by the way the properties of that light dependent resistor. Uh, when there's light it is 1000 ohms, when it's dark it is 80,000 ohms, so that's, that's an enormous difference, of course. Thanks for watching.